With 3.5 billion followers, no sport is more popular worldwide than soccer. And therefore, it's no wonder that the best soccer players in the world, people like Messi, Ronaldo, Neymar, or Neuer, have been more than just athletes for a long time. They are among the most famous, influential, and wealthy men of an entire generation. But what do the world's best soccer players actually do off the pitch when they're not training or giving interviews? How do footballers of this caliber live in private? And what kind of people are behind the biggest names in soccer? In this video, we present you some of the best footballers in the world and show you how they live in private. Included are surprisingly sophisticated footballers, players whose lives are more reminiscent of gangster movies, and humble family men. So stay tuned because it's going to be very interesting here at Wonderlane. Let's start with a man who is not only one of the best offensive players in the world, but also a true national hero in his home country, Egyptian Mo Salah, who in recent years has played his way up to the absolute world class at Liverpool FC. Above all, Salah has always remained true to three things in his private life. He has been married for almost 10 years to the biotechnologist Maggie Salah, who he first met when he was still at school. Together with her and his two daughters, he lives in a villa in the suburb of Liverpool, where he spends most of his time with his family. The second thing to which he has always remained faithful is his religion. As a practicing Muslim, he continues to organize his daily routine and diet according to his religion. Every day during the course of the day, he performs the five daily prayers of Islam, the first of which is usually at 5 a.m. during sunrise. In addition, he observes Ramadan, even when important matches are on the schedule, and consistently eats a halal diet which means that he abstains from alcohol and pork, for example. But he has always also remained true to his values. Salah is known for his modesty and has repeatedly donated millions to hospitals to fight hunger or to build soccer fields in poor areas of the world, while also campaigning for women's rights in the Islamic world. For many Muslims, Salah is therefore a real symbol of hope, as he has a positive influence on the sometimes negative image of Islam in the Western world. Even if he has already been criticized for celebrating Christmas normally with his family, despite his religion. Salah also remains loyal to his native Egypt. He travels to his hometown of Nagrig as often as possible and maintains his contacts there. In addition, Salah owns a house in Cairo, but its address was leaked in 2018 so that thousands of Egyptians besieged Salah's house. By the way, Salah also likes to spend his free time in Liverpool doing sports, especially with his daughter Maka. He regularly works out in the garden or in his home gym and is also passionate about playing table tennis and basketball when time allows. Oh, and of course he takes photos with fans almost every day, like this boy who ran after Salah's car hitting a lamppost. The next player on our list has a huge hope at the moment. The signs are good that he could win the Balloon d'Or as FIFA World Player of the Year for the first time in his life this year. We are talking about Real Madrid's superstar Karim Benzema, also known as KB9. Unlike Salah, Benzema lives a life that is usually only lived by rappers. It starts with his house. Benzema lives in a modern architectural villa near Madrid. The villa includes a walk-in closet where Benzema stores an impressive collection of luxury clothing and suits. For instance, he has many pieces from Louis Vuitton, Gucci, and other designer brands, and even owns many pieces that have not even been released in series. Moreover, Benzema is an absolute sneakerhead, and thus has his own room just for his hundred hundred thousand dollar shoe collection. But it's not just on fashion that he spends a lot of money. Benzema also has an impressive car collection of 10 cars, including a McLaren, a G-Class, a Bugatti Chiron, and a special edition Bugatti Veyron, of which there are only five in the world. For training, he prefers to drive his Audi RS6. As a hobby, he enjoys taking his sports cars out on professional racetracks. Just like Salah, Benzema also does other sports in his private life. He has his own gym and goes jogging every day with his German Shepherd Doki, while he prefers to listen to old American rap, for example, music from Tupac. Benzema also has a fondness for the States, and therefore regularly goes on vacations in Los Angeles. Until a few years ago, he was also regularly spotted there with singer Rihanna, with whom he is said to have had an affair. For several years, he has been in a relationship with model Cora Gothier and lives with her and his children. 
But still, Benzema's gangster image is not completely unfounded. Off the pitch, the Real Madrid star has, namely, gotten into trouble with the law in the past. In 2015, he blackmailed a teammate of his with a very intimate video of him. And just a year before that, he was on trial for another crime. So Benzema is and will apparently remain a bad boy, even if he seems to have calmed down a bit in recent years. Next, we come to one of the best midfielders of his generation, Kevin De Bruyne. De Bruyne, who plays for Manchester City, lives there in a villa whose location and appearance is not known from the outside, as De Bruyne places a lot of value on his privacy. That being said, he and his wife Michelle Lacroix also own this villa in the Belgian town of Boulderburg, where the family plans to retire after Kevin's career is over. De Bruyne lives in Manchester with his wife and their three children. The family is cooked for every day by De Bruyne's personal chef, Johnny Marsh, who has also cooked for other Premier League professionals. Otherwise, De Bruyne lives a very secluded life. You rarely see him and his wife in the city of Manchester eating or shopping. Besides that, De Bruyne is described by friends and relatives as rather shy and reserved. But this is not surprising because De Bruyne has already had to suffer some private setbacks in his life. For example, his last girlfriend cheated on him with his teammate and goalkeeper Thibaut Courtois. He was also banished from his foster family at the age of 15 because they couldn't get along with him. But thanks to his wife Michelle, who De Bruyne says is his main support in life, those times are forgotten. Meanwhile, he and his family are regulars in the Maldives, by the way, where they spend most of their vacations. Let's continue with a player who is second in many ways. He was the second most expensive transfer of all time, the second youngest player to ever score a goal in a World Cup final, and even only the third soccer player after whom Capital Bra named a song. Oh, and by the way, he's listed as a local on Instagram. We're talking, of course, about France's mega-talented Kylian Mbappe, who has been playing for PSG for five years now. Accordingly, Mbappe's life takes place mostly in Paris, as he now owns two properties there. Most of the time, according to French media, he lives in a two-story penthouse in the middle of downtown Paris. The apartment is said to measure a full 600 square meters, has an expansive terrace with a jacuzzi, and is only a few minutes away from PSG's playing and training venues. Due to this excellent location, Mbappe owns one of the most expensive apartments in France. He is also said to own another villa in Paris's posh newly sur seine district. Before Mbappe bought these two properties, he lived in the luxury hotel Royal Monceau in Paris for almost one year. Mbappe spends most of his free time with his hobbies. Unexpectedly, Mbappe is not only a sportsman, but also a musician. According to his own statements, he is learning to play the piano and is also said to be passionate about singing. Apart from that, he does many other things that show he is still young. Like Benzema, he collects sneakers as a hobby. He also plays video games in his free time and has often been spotted as a spectator at professional tennis tournaments. In addition to these hobbies, Kylian Mbappe has also been trying his hand as a businessman off the pitch for some time now. He founded his own brand, KM, which sells functional clothing and CPAs, among other things, and even published his own children's book about his life. By the way, like many soccer stars, he also invests part of his money in cars. The funny thing is that at the age of 20, he bought a Ferrari for almost half a million euros, even though he didn't have a driver's license at the time. But you don't have to be able to do everything. Before we come to the last footballer in this video, we would like to mention a few more. Messi and Ronaldo, of course, cannot be missing from a list of the best footballers. We made a detailed video about Ronaldo's life just a few days ago. Also worth mentioning are certainly Harry Kane, Griezmann, Van Dyke, and many others. But we could perhaps cover them in a second part. Like this video if you are interested, and also write us in the comments who should not be missing in a second part. But now, last but not least, we come to a Bundesliga player and probably the most effective goal machine currently out there, Robert Lewandowski. In fact, he and his family live in Poland's tallest skyscraper, the Slada 44, where the Lewandowskis occupy a spacious luxury apartment and can use the building's swimming pools, cinema, playground, golf simulator, and home gym. For playing time, however, the Lewandowski naturally also has a property in Munich. To be more precise, a villa in the posh Grundwald district. Off the pitch, the Polish international striker is one thing above all, a family man who loves his privacy. 
That's why he enjoys spending time with his wife Anna, who is a professional karate fighter, and his two children. Together, the family even runs a TikTok account on which they share clips from their lives and funny clips. Since both Mr. and Mrs. Lewandowski are professional athletes, the family also pays a lot of attention to their diet, which is why Anna and Robert even have come up with their own nutritional concept. They eat dessert before the main course to better stimulate digestion. In addition, the Lewandowskis also like to spend time with the larger family circle, which they also like to take along on trips from time to time. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe and give it a like. We'll see you next time here at Wonderlane.